sand, Isabel. Jump in. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come, child. Swim in the ocean with your dearest Nellens and Mama. But, but what if I get eaten by sharks? Eaten by sharks? Oh, Isabel, don't be preposterous. You've seen way too much of that action movie, Poppycock. You're oversaturated with nonsense. The notion of sharks as aquatic serial killers lurking in the deep with the frenzy lust for human flesh is simply fiction. Indeed. The truth is, if sharks ever mistaken us, they will simply just bite your head off. <laughs> <laughs> the notion of... The most shark attacks happen rarely, my child. We are six people were killed by sharks last year. Six. Indeed, I love a ding dong. So, my dearest Isabel, the real question is, should you be frightened of the sharks, or should the sharks be frightened of you? You jump in, I'll buy you another pony. Here I come. Oh, heavens to Betsy, I'm positively jubilant. Nathaniel, <laughs> our daughter's first jaunt in the ocean. Do take a photograph. Naturally. Jump in on the count of three, Isabel. One, two, three. No! <laughs> Terrifying, isn't it? I? Lulled into a false sense of security by your, hmm, vaguely British parents. Forced to jump through the open mouth of a carnivorous sea helium. You there, little girl in the crowd, come on up here. What's your name? Bonnie. Has this common scenario ever happened to you, sweet Bonnie? Golly, I can't say it has. It will. Oh, it will. Because there's three certainties in life. Taxes, death, and specifically, death by sharks. Thanks, sharks. Hi. My name's Adventure Dan. Famed explorer of four major oceans. Three major continents. Well, if you include Hawaii. Proud owner of a brand new luxury timeshare off the coast of Mexico and certified expert in death by shark. Who certified you? What's that, sweet pony? You said you're a certified expert in death by shark, so who certified you? <laughs> uh, that's my pony. Now, folks, I may be a famed explorer, but over the next 30 minutes, I'll be your tour guide. Your tour guide on what not to do if you don't want to get eaten by sharks. I thought everyone gets eaten by sharks. Eventually, they will. But with my help, you can put off that day for as long as possible. Sounds perfect. Perfect is how I describe my new timeshare off the coast of Mexico. Speaking of, Bonnie, have you had any interest in part-time real estate opportunity? Not really. Huh, that's my Bonnie. So folks, if you truly want to delay being devoured by ungodly demon fish, here's my first piece of expert advice. Don't go surfing on a forbidden beach. <laughs> yeah, they don't do it. The forbidden wave has never before been served. Then let me be the first. The native state's insurmountable. Thank you. I care at the native state. Once our marriage is called insurmountable, but as long ago we overcame this forbidden love, so today I'll overcome this forbidden wave. Yeah, and be careful. Look, he's got the forbidden wave. Look, he's being eaten by sharks. Yeah, and no! You see what happens when people surf the forbidden wave. You must not follow Yanni into oblivion. Nay, I shall force her to fail. The natives say it's insurmountable. Think you I care what the natives say? I must serve for the honor of our people. My homecoming will be filled not with shame and disappointment, but with glory, glory! Candace, be careful. Look, she's got the forbidden wave. Look, she's up on her board. She's, oh, she's being eaten by Why, Candace, why? These two fearless surf warriors were both defeated by the forbidden wave. Then you, Dory, you with inferior skills, stand not a chance. Yeah, definitely not gonna. Sheath your foolish pride. Can you not see? Those who have come before you have been consumed by sharks. Yeah, I've noticed the pattern, and I'm good. I'm definitely not gonna surf the forbidden wave. Very well. The natives say it is insurmountable. What natives? We're on Long Island. Those guys work at Minnie's Bagel Palace. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. Surf if you must. But if you insist upon this heroic deed, bring honor to our village. You mean Peachy? Dory! Be careful! <laughs> Look! She's caught the forbidden wave! Look! 
She's up on her board. She's riding it. She has achieved what has never before been achieved. Let us forever remember this day, the day that one simple girl from Beachy proved that having the true heart of the... Oh, she's being infectious. <laughs> of surfers get 100% eaten by sharks, 70% 70, 70 of the time, 100% of the time. That's some real sketchy science. You know what else is sketchy? Engineering genetically modified super sharks. What about it? It's exactly what you shouldn't do if you don't want to get eaten by genetically modified super sharks. As thin colleagues, today we have successfully engineered genetically modified super sharks. <laughs> As I stand upon the bed of the sock tank, I think of all of the untold real-life applications for the super beans that swim below. For example, they could uh, hands. The three golf balls from course the batter obstacles lined up there. Exactly. <laughs> but this set uh, increased intelligence must come at increased precaution. The last thing we want. It's for one of us to fuck, fuck, fuck. Thank you, Hans. Thank you. Fall into the deadly clutches. Which is bad. I must implement a series of safety procedures before we release these super beings into the world so they can help us with uh, hands. Cleaning the outside of the underwater windows. Exactly. <laughs> Therefore, we must keep this laboratory pristine. If there were even a single drop of grease next to the tank, we would risk one of our researchers slip, 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 <laughs> slipping into deadly waters. But we must not have the super sharks distracted. They must stay focused on their true purpose, their noble purpose. Which, of course, to uh, hands. Perform dental surgery and other genetically modified super sharks my doctor. Exactly. Because these super sharks will take any opportunity to eat us. So in the interest of safety, please kindly black guys come up. Very of tunnels. Tunnels, my love. Yes. The super sharks are so hyper intelligent they will dig a tunnel out of the tank so they can escape and eat the prey. Oh, you know what? Shoot. <laughs> Sea kayaking with meat paddles, I think it should be acknowledged. 
Well, this is a complicated inquiry, Marjorie. On one hand, we are most certainly sea kayaking. Certainly. To deny our presence sea kayaking would be folly of the highest order. But was your second charge, which was? With meat paddles. With meat paddles, yes. While well, it's conceivable these paddles are meat paddles, they could also be made of an entirely different substance. Without further examination, there's really no way to tell. Say, Tom. Yes, Marjorie? Are we dragging behind us the dead carcass of a sea lion? Are we? The carcass <laughs> of a dead sea lion. That's a peculiar question. Why do you ask? Well, you see, Tom, I look behind the sea kayak and I observe the carcass of a dead sea lion. Huh. The sea. <laughs> Which, in conjunction with the meat paddles... Hey, alleged meat paddles. Alleged meat paddles, sure. Uh, well, the two in conjunction paint a picture that you might perhaps be baiting sharks. It's quite the accusation, Marjorie. Do you deny it? Vehemently. Though the sea lion carcass is tied to my end of the vessel, I see no evidence su to suggest that I was the one to tie it. Do you, Marjorie? I suppose not. And these meat pedals, which are clearly made of whale ribs... So you admit it! I admit they're made of whale ribs. Not that they're mine, Marjorie. Your inference of my guilt in these matters is quite a stretch. And with that, let us see, Kayak. Say, Tom! Oh my, what is it, Marjorie? What do you want? <laughs> Are we presently entering Fabled Shark Cove? Who makes you say that, Marjorie? Well, you see, Tom, we just passed a sign that said, Welcome to Fabled Shark Cove, the location of more predatory- Enough! I clearly can hide my axes no longer. Yes, I've taken us to Fabled Shark Cove while dragging a sea lion carcass with meat paddles. Yes, Marjorie, I'm baiting sharks. Is that what you wanted to hear? Is it? I just thought it should be acknowledged. Well, I acknowledge it. I did it. I did it all for- I did it all for you. For me? I wanted you to think of me as the greatest man in the world. So I wagered, if I were to kill a shark with my bare hands and give you a spin as a trophy, you'd fancy me your hero, your modern-day Hercules. Well, thank you for being honest, Tom. You're welcome, Marjorie. Thank you for listening. If I can be honest, Tom, I think sharks are much cleverer than you realize. In fact, I've heard they're capable of magnificent feats. Picking their targets weeks in advance, tracking future behaviors and the like. That seems unlikely. It's very likely, Tom. Common, even. In fact, I've heard they can disguise themselves as humans and take them out to Fable Shark Cove, where nobody could hear their prey scream. That's very specific imagery, Marjorie. So is your face! <laughs> Well, of course it is, if you need my expert advice. Really? Because not sea kayaking with meat paddles kind of seems like common sense. Hmm, interesting. Do you remember what the revolutionary Thomas Paine said about common sense? I'm nine! Exactly! You're nine! And I'm an adult male explorer who's been to four major oceans and three major continents. Well, if you include Hawaii, so moving on! Here's some practical advice for you young lovers out there. You know those lists of things your parents told you to not go on prom night? Well, let's add one more thing to the list. Night swimming. As in, please, don't go night swimming after prom. Meet at the beach. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> There's more than enough to share. 
Oh, go on, eat up, age before beauty. Uh, the coral reef poppies have bloomed early this year. I've seen. Delightful. Simply delightful. Speaking of blooming early, my daughter Elizabeth is fast becoming a woman. Ah, yes. The joys and perils of motherhood. How's the meat, love? Eh, a bit heavy on hormones. If I may continue, old friend, it's come to my attention that my recently bloomed daughter has taken a liking to your eldest. <laughs> your daughter has taken a liking to my William? Yes, your son William. She will pursue courtship. Good luck. She couldn't tie him down with a half inch of chip. My fear precisely. being surrounded by sharks, don't walk the plank. Enough. 
Close Enough, we were voted best singing pirate crew four years in a row. Do you think we got there on Close Enough craftsmanship? Fine, but that don't mean you gotta break the high the golden rule and he must walk the plank. You laughed and scoffed for far too long and now your face is blank. If, well, I'm glad you didn't think that you'd be standing on the bloody plank. Not a rhyme! Uh, Tell me plank, don't rhyme with plank, and I'll jump off myself. Oh, I wish it could be as noble as my favorite noble guess, Argon! But you can't rhyme a word with itself, mate. It's cheating! Get it? I can't wait! Uh, Look what you did, Captain Argyle, sweater vest lover. You put your golden rules above everything else, and look what it got you. A lifetime of loneliness. Loneliness. Ah! Hey, hi, hi dilly dee, hi dilly, hi dilly dink. I protected the golden rule and no one even thanked. <laughs> Me. Hey, Rob. Thanks for the good looks you heard. Holla. <laughs> Venture death. This is the sending into pure Silliness! I would, uh, that's exactly what the sharks want you to think. You're a pawn in their game, Sweet Bonnie, and you'll continue to be a pawn unless you feed my expert advice or get in this hot time share. Let's go with the expert advice. I advise you to get in this hot time share. Next piece of advice. Ugh. If you don't want to get eaten by sharks, you must never, under any circumstances, adopt a shark as a house pet. Case in point. Birthday to you. Get the daddy got a special little chaps. Is it a motorboat or? An ice cream truck or? My freedom. No, sir, this is a new pet. That's why there's holes in the box. Is it another puppy or? A unicorn or? My sweet, sweet freedom. No, sir, let's open up and look. Ah! Shucks, I didn't see what was inside the box, Daddy. Was it a baby lizard or a... Metaphor for my indentured servitude or... No, sir, this can't you tell it's a... Yum, 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 yum! <laughs> Mr. Pooch, what was inside the box? Was it a... Baby lizard? <laughs> or a... Tommy for what it feels like a millennia of pet feudalism? Or... Shoot, I know I shouldn't, but what if I just... Nom, nom, nom! Hey, bro. Thanks for the good looks you heard. Holla! <laughs> Jeepers, aren't you glad you got that priceless piece of advice, sweet Bonnie? To be honest, I'm just running the clock out at this point. Mom's picking me up at five. Ooh, interesting. And how's her real estate portfolio looking these days? Ah, that's my body. Here's some more pieces of advice for you non-jerk faces out there! Huh. If you're looking to surgery, don't enter an operating room with a shark surgeon. Seriously? Deadly seriously! And if you want to be extra careful, don't enter an operating room with a shark surgeon who skipped breakfast. Scalpel. Scalpel. Jaws. Jaws. <laughs> Baby seal. Baby seal, sir. Seal it. Seal it. Skip breakfast. And speculum. Suction. <laughs> Sperm whale. Sperm whale, sir. Sperm saw. Sperm saw, sir. External saw, external saw. I need to saw the stern. Shuggies? 
skip breakfast. Stupid. Stupid. Entered sea line. Okay, sir. Would you like me to go get you some breakfast? No. No. I really don't mind. Well, it's not too much trouble. What would you like, sir? Apple. Apple. Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Sealant. Sealant, sir. Baby seal. Baby seal. Will that be all, sir? Yeah. Hold on a sec. Come back. What is it, sir? Now that I'm inside this patient's chest cavity, his medical condition has become painfully apparent. What is it, sir? It appears our patient has ingested shark eggs. Shark eggs? How common is that, sir? More common than you think. I did my thesis research on this phenomenon. The real danger is that the shark pups will imprint upon the first adult they come into contact with. How is that dangerous? When they imprint, they feed. Curse you baby sharks, you clever conspiring Elizabeths! Richard Ann, what? Just what? Saving the lives of the innocent, sweet Bonnie. Hold on for a second. Here's the list of all the lives I've saved. Put your name at the bottom. This says Mexican investment papers. Wait, you can read? Wrap it up, Dan. Uh, okay. Do you know how to say wrap it up in Spanish? You would if you spent two weeks. Wrap it up, Dan! I see how it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here's my final piece of advice for you this evening. I pray that you take it as seriously as I take your safety and well being. Sharks may lull you into complacency with their magnetic personalities and smoldering good looks. What? But make no mistake, they crave your delicious human flesh above all else. Which is why, if you ever receive a dinner invitation at a shark's home, you must not accept. <laughs> Susan, Tim, you two are an absolute riot. You have the darndest stories. Yeah. So funny. Yeah, they really make our jaws drop, huh? Get it? Because we're orthodontists? I'm sorry? Jaws, it's funny because we're orthodontists, right? No, it's funny because you're, uh... You know... Sharks. Wow. Okay. Not that there's anything wrong with being, uh, you know... Are you worried we eat you? Heavens, Heavens no. Me. It's just a joke. Seems your joke undermines the contributions us, you know what, have made to society. Congress. The PTA. We are civilized adults, you know. Civilized! You're right. We are being insensitive. Forgive us. No, 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 forgive us. We've been don't we've been known to get a tad defensive. As in Finn. Like a dorsal fin. Because we're sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Armand, now that that's behind us, will you help serve dinner? No need, I'm already at the table. Wow. Okay. Just a joke, just a stupid joke. No, no, make your petty jests. Let them undermine the contributions us, you know what, I make the literature. Ice dancing. The co-op floor. When I'm nervous, I make jokes. Oh, so now we make you nervous. Please do remind you, we are civilized adults, civilized. You're right, it was a harmless joke with more harm than joke. Forgive us. No, 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 forgive us. We are our guests, we shouldn't make you feel guilty. As in gills, because we have gills, because we're sharks. <laughs> now that that's behind us, we're going to eat you. Wow. Okay. Joking. Joking. <laughs> I was going to say, that's not the behavior of civilized, civilized adults. Junior, Mary Bell, come downstairs for dinner. And are your little tykes as civilized as their parents? God, no, they're savages. Thank you. <laughs> and there you have it, sweet Bonnie. Eight incredible pieces of advice on how to not get eaten by sharks. You want to thank me with a hug? I'm not touching you. Okay. Buy the timeshare? No, never. All your so called pieces of advice have been nothing but misinformed slander against a quickly becoming endangered species. I don't know what you have against sharks, but something tells me it has to do with that stupid timeshare you suddenly realized you can't afford. But sweet Bonnie, 
You couldn't be further from the truth. I can afford my timeshare thanks to the money I borrowed uh, from. Oh, oh. All right. <laughs> Loan <Lone> sharks. You <laughs> sold your timeshare adventure, Dan. Uh, swing and a miss, fellas. You got our money adventure, Dan? Swing and a miss, fellas. Then we got Take Your Knees Adventure Dan, swinging off. We don't miss. Oh, yay, goody. Gee, Tricks, I finally get to watch something educational. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my body. So, folks, I hope you learned a thing or two today. Life is short, and before you get inevitably eaten by, you know, sharks, go out there and live it. Explore our four major oceans and three major continents, including Hawaii, yes. And never, under any circumstances, take out a loan on a sharky timeshare. From the Adventure Hour, this is Adventure Dad. And Sweet Bonnie! Save the night! Stay safe! <laughs> Successfully engineered genetically modified super shots.